What's up, Jeroni? Simon here. Welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into episode number three of season number three of Once Upon a Time, episode uh, titled "Quite a Common Fairy." Um, it's gonna be Tinkerbell. I mean, there was a the thumbnail showed a green dress girl with blonde hair. It's gotta be Tinkerbell. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Uh, last episode, I didn't love. Uh, some of you guys really liked it. I thought it was one of the worst uh, episodes we've had in a while. Uh, but that was just my opinion. Um, it had great moments, but also, I don't know. I think I gave, I gave it like a six, right? I mean, it wasn't horrible. It just, I don't know. It it just did things that I didn't love. But hopefully this episode's great. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. Hopefully we get um, an interesting story. Uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, Patreon. Um, if you want it. Episodes uncut, unedited. You can, uh, not you can get them here whenever they show up. I don't think I have much else to say, so we're just gonna hop right in here. Have a good time. Here we go. Perhaps I will. What the hell is this? But I honestly, I forgot you about this. The wall. <laughs> what else are you looking for? Show me where Emma is now to get to it. And tell me what the problem is. Perhaps I can assist. I need a Emma portal. I never land with Peter Pan, who is hands down the nastiest person I've ever met. You'd say Merlin? Call him Merlin. I don't get to Henry. I mean, he's so your kid as big. He seen you walking this idiot. Tinkerbell. Mm -hmm. Are you Nala? Every kid in the world Regina. knows her. It's a bad idea. Regina knows her too. Mark my words. This Tinkerbell is not going to save us. What did you do to Tinkerbell? <laughs> Just. <laughs> She and the king are gone all the time. You're glad your husband's gone. <laughs> it's not a marriage. It's a farce. So it's just like it was just like a winky dink that she was there. There's no other reason. I'll turn your motor over nothing. That palace, I feel like the queen of nothing. Just showed up randomly. No wonder you jumped. Where do I know you from? I didn't jump. I fell. Um, and that's how I know her. She's the girl from Zom uh, I Zombie. That's how I know her. I'm like, where do I know her from? <laughs> you know? There is another way. Is there? Magic. Didn't we just go through this? I'm not talking about my magic. I'm talking about plan. Let's just see it through. Let's at least see if we can find Tinkerbell. Well, I kind of fucked think her it's over. Best plan because your boyfriend came up with it. My boyfriend. Ooh. Hook. <laughs> she just lost Neil. Oops. Felix. Is Felix good? Is his name good? Doesn't matter. You're the one doing the shooting. Oh but no. I, I don't want to shoot. Shoot. I like that she can go to regular size and then jump by, like in and out. That's cool. Someone who needs help. It's not very fairy like. You can be the judge of what is fairy like. Why is but fairy no doesn't. Discussion. Pixie does different. Where did she get Until Pixie? Until further notice, you have to it. remain here and continue your training under my direct supervision. Understood? Hey. Hey. <laughs> You're falling behind. Hook thinks her place is right up ahead. Come on. Well, if she still lives there. You go waste your time searching and I'll wait. Let's go. What'd you do to her? There we go. <laughs> Never <What>? mind. <laughs> Why would you okay. assume I did something? You? Get in my head because he'd call it that. He'd have a better name. Yeah, he wouldn't call it Operation Henry. He'd call it Operation Tiger. It's the best I could Scorpion do. something. Okay. You got it? What did you and do to her? Some. Let's get started. What do I feel like you ripped off Helping her wings you find or something? Your happiness? Saving you. That's what's gonna save me. This isn't your pixie dust, is it? Well, when you think about it, does anyone really own pixie dust? The fairies are quite proprietary about it. Is there yeah, a difference between it. pixie would, and don't fairy? Don't worry about me. This is about you. Come on. Why does the blue fairy only use fairy dust if they're... 
can be happy. Who is it? I know you can. Go. Hmm. I don't know. I don't even remotely have an idea of who it could be. He kind of looks like Robin Hood in the back. Oh no. What the fuck happened to you? A complicated history. I was watching Regina. But if she's been watching her. We're in the wrong place, Regina. Dude, he wants to kill you. You like. You like royally fucked her up. Like, what the hell did you do to her? Like, she the wants. Time you woke up. She wants to hurt you. I for know. nothing. I'm in big trouble. As I said, you're a terrible fairy. I thought we were friends. I don't have friends. I guess what confuses me about Regina is. Fly away, moth. I don't understand. At don't what? Let the doors catch your wings on the way out. What point? He goes like okay you want to kill me like earlier she was all sad and... uh, what are you oh you shit. want to kill me oh don't let the poison do it god look how black you her heart is go ahead Have crush it. it you oh, think so... i won't take it no one gladly at the heart with the thing So what, she gets in trouble, they kick her out, she's not allowed to be a fairy no more. Stop. You can't. For one simple tragic reason. I no longer believe in you. What happened to three strikes? Oh, wow, she took... Dear Jesus, what the fuck? Alright, that's a bit... Blue Fairy went a bit overboard with that. Like, Blue Fairy went too much. Tinker didn't deserve this. That's kind of messed up. Holy. Do you know what you cost me? One reason not to squeeze it into ash. Alright, you want a reason? I like Tinker, Here you bro. Go. I like the acting. You think I was afraid? It's really good. This whole scene is really good. The wrong thing. I don't think it... Well, makes sense, but it's a really good well I could say. I picked revenge over hope. And you're holding the result. What if having you was? Think Interesting concept. It. You would have sent it from the greatest of light and of dark. We think it's a coincidence that the spawn of the dark one met your mother. You were created for a reason. Is that the picture of him that you had? Or, okay, you could just throw it away. You. you remind me. We'll see if I can earn it back. I don't. Why wouldn't you? The stuff with Emma I and Neo. Time, I don't know if they've built it up. I get another chance. This. Since. When Emma told me that she loved I don't me. Know. I, I waited way too long. So, Pan doesn't. It's, it's always just his shadow that comes. That's interesting. Okay, Roland. Say it. Roland, not Merlin. <laughs> I, was like, I believe. Did he grab on? Oh my god, that was kind of corny, but. <laughs> that's... Okay. Oh. We shall see. He likes the one dude, right? The Aurora's guy? What was his name? That was this guy's name. Whatever homeboy's name is. Move on. Or does. Getting you are. married or Philip and I are expecting a baby. Oh, they're pregnant. I think they're already married. Alright. That's excellent news. So Milan is in love with Aurora. Please, please but Aurora me. is having a baby with Philip. Aurora's not I'm joining Robin Hood's band. Help us. Well, mm. look who the queen dragged in. Hello, Hook. Lady Bell. She's not gonna help us. Why not? Tinker. After all we've been through together. Have you slept with Tinkerbell? Little assistance. She doesn't have any magic. No pixie dust? Okay. Listen closely. Tinkerbell, I'm gonna... me, he'll let me in. And maybe. 
Just maybe I'll leave a way open for you. But you've only got one shot. So you better have a good plan. Thank you. We will. Come with us to our camp. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Welcome home. Hey, Hello, it's fire. Felix. Pan will be so happy to see you. Because you didn't just ruin your life. Ruin his. You ruined his. Ooh, who is the guy? Hmm. I don't know who it is. Oh, wait. It was you. Right? I mean, they set it up. They set that up like it's gonna be him, like the way that they showed the person that they're talking about tattoo. Welcome. All right. Well, that was episode number uh, three. Um, I don't know. That episode was okay, I guess. It wasn't that great? It wasn't that, it wasn't that good either? I don't know. It's weird. To me, the first episode was so good. I was so into it. The last episode, I wasn't into that much. This episode, I'm not. It just kind of feels like we're we're like we're like treading water and just kind of like floating here, waiting for something. They show us segments of something really really cool, and then they don't kind of do anything with it. Like the flashbacks. I don't understand the purpose of them. Episode again, like last episode, flashbacks aren't adding anything. To me, at least. Sure, they introduced Tinkerbell. For reasons. They introduced a new love interest for Regina. In the future. Okay, that's weird, but alright. It's an interesting choice uh, that they went with there. Um, the Tinkerbell stuff. Both the Tinkerbell stuff is... I don't know. That's... It, the blue fairy, the reason, like the the way that she demoted Tinkerbell, not even demoted, took Tinkerbell's wings away and all that, I don't think was justified. I think it was unnecessary the way that, that she did that. I also don't think it was justified. Like it was, it was, it made sense that Tinkerbell was so mad at Regina because let's say it would have worked. Let's say Regina did walk in and meet the love of her life, and then she went back to the blue fairy the blue fairy would have still taken her wings away and taken everything away. And then Regina would have been living her, like her best life. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it doesn't matter. It didn't, it literally didn't matter. Tinkerbell made a choice and the blue fairy was mad. It didn't, it doesn't, if the, if the choice worked or didn't work with Regina, it didn't, it didn't matter. She was still gonna get in trouble anyway. I mean, maybe it would have helped the blow if you saw Regina's happy now, maybe, but that's it. Um, we got our, uh, um, Neil's here. That's cool. I like Pan. Every time they, every time Pan talks, I'm like really into like the way he, his demeanor, his the character. It just seems really, really cool. Um, what else really happened here? The Neil getting back to Neverland thing was fine. Mulan being in love with Aurora. I don't know. I feel like that could have been something, but they didn't. They didn't do anything with it. Honestly. He was going to confess, well, Aurora has a baby. I was having a baby with Philip. Cool. But Aurora's not gay. She's into Philip. I mean, maybe she's bisexual. Maybe. So I don't know what that, I don't know. I don't, I just don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get why that's the choice that they made. Like, the choice that Mulan wants to be with Aurora is cool. The choice of her being and Philip having a baby is uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna give the episode. It's a, it's better than last episode, so I'm gonna give it like a high six, low seven around there. That's where I'm at right now. I don't honestly think it's better than that. We'll break it down and maybe I can find some things that I really liked uh, and point it to you guys. But there was just choices that I'm like, oh okay. But, uh, you know, we'll break it down and I'll let you go. All right, so we're looking for Henry. The map, uh, the the camp is moving around. So it's going to be hard for us to find. So we have to go find Tinkerbell. Um, we have this whole apple thing. Nice little joke here about it's a family thing. Why Henry doesn't like apples. Um, 
Neo's looking for a portal. He sees the little boy, and he's like, ooh, I can use this boy to get back. We're going to use the boy to get back. Um, Hook mentions Tinkerbell. What's the difference between fairy dust and, and pixie dust? I don't get what the difference is. Like, I don't know. Um, so then we have Regina again. I don't know when in the timeline this is. It's when she's still training. So she still has some good in her. So it's weird that she went to pure. Oh, she didn't go pure evil. Tinker. Um, so Tinkerbell just, just Tinkerbell showing up is just mega random, right? It was just passing through all this helped. I love the fact that she can go big and back to small. Really, really cool. Um, weird that they called her, she's like one girl kept calling her green. Like, she has a name. <laughs> if your name wants if your name's blue, that's on you. Um, so Regina doesn't want to go see Tinkerbell. She's talking to Emma. She's like, oh, hey man, maybe we can combine our powers and go after Pan and we can beat him. Um, David is dying. He has like the poison. You got this test on Henry. Henry takes tries to shoot Pan with it. Pan catches it and he's kinda like excited about it. Um, this is when we find out. Maybe we can get the pixie dust, rub it on us, and cure us. Um I do like that they kind of this is how Tinkerbell has always been. Like in the cartoons or in everything. She's kinda like sporadic and kind of a wild card in terms of keeping focus and things like that. So it makes sense that that's how they have her here, because it fits. Um, more stuff here about thing. So Emma, that we can't, I can't go see Tinker. She won't like me. Um, Pixie Dust is going to find us true love. Regina doesn't go in. We talk about the guy with the lion tattoo. Figure out that uh, Tinker stole or kidnapped Regina. Give her whole spew. I thought the dialogue in the cave and between them two was great. I absolutely loved it. Um, like I love their relationship and like through the dialogue that they were saying. So I guess my problem with it a little bit is I don't buy into the reason that she hates Regina so much. I mean, I guess it does because Regina was kind of a bitch to her later. I don't know. She did lose her wings to somebody that she had. Like, I don't know. I love the dialogue. I just feel like something was missing from the the um their backstory a little. You know, um, cause she didn't leave here angry. She just said why. Um, she's flying. If anything, she should be angry at the blue fairy. She should want vengeance against the blue fairy. And the blue fairy was kind of a bitch here, straight up. She didn't. She didn't have to punish her like this. Like, the, there should be choices, like, mistakes that are made. Like, she wanted to help somebody. It didn't work. Like, not, I'm taking your wings and your ability to use magic away. That's just weird for, like, her. Because in this scene, we, we're, like, we're supposed to like the Blue Fairy. Like, she's supposed to be, like, oh, the all good. But I don't like the Blue Fairy here. I kind of just, like, I, I very much dislike the Blue Fairy here. I feel bad for Tinkerbell. And not even because Regina, take the Regina situation out of it. Let's say she did something that, let's say she did steal the, let's say she stole the pixie dust. Just go have some fun. The repercussion of that should not be, give me your wings and your powers. Like, you know what I mean? Like I said, this dialogue was great. Love Regina bringing up the darkness and everything in her heart and her doing, like, it was great. It was great. I love that scene. Which is why I want to give it like a seven because I think that this scene was really good and I thought, um, the scene like I thought the thought the scenes with um this scene was really good. I don't know. I thought there were some good scenes. This scene was really good with Pan. I just like Pan. I think Pan's a cool character. Um, Neo gives Mulan a thing about love, like a love speech thing, and tries to tell him about um. Every, like about, you know, getting back Emma. And again, like I said during the reaction, I just, for some reason, Neil wanting Emma back so badly doesn't build well enough. Like, you always got that vibe, but literally 
Kamara is evil and bad and screws everybody over in the final episode. By episode one of this season, which is literally like the next day, Neil's already, I want to be with Emma now. I don't know. Just not buying it. I, I especially don't buy that Emma likes Neil like that. I mean, she did, but I don't, I don't know. They just, I don't know. Something, something's missing from those scenes for me. Uh, we see the shadow. We go, we jump on the shadow, we leave. Um, Mulan has to go confess her love to somebody. It turns out it's Aurora. I think the scene was not executed well. It could have been done well. I don't love that she's pregnant, so... I don't know. Just a weird choice. Like, it's cool that Mulan is in love with her, but I wish they would have kind of gone with that and not introduce an obstacle of, well, Philip and me are pregnant instead of just going with the, I love you Mulan too, but I'm not, you know, that, that could have been a better way to do that scene. Um, we then talk to Tinker. She's going to help us. David is dying, but doesn't tell Mary Margaret. Neil gets here. Then we get this thing about calling Regina selfish because she didn't go confess her love to the guy that she had. And then we find out the guy is Robin Hood. Which I guess is something. And also Mulan joined the Merry Men. So I'm guessing Robin Hood is going to have a major, a bigger role this season. I don't know. I don't know. This episode is better. I mean, I enjoyed it better than last episode, but I didn't love it. So I just kind of, kind of very lukewarm on the episode. But that's just my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon if you want the full reactions, uncut and edited episodes extra early over there if you want them. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to talk. Guys, thanks.